What's up guys? Today we're doing an all new video. It's going to be about the Edmonton Oilers. <laughs> All right, guys, so as you may all know or may not know, I am a huge Calgary Flames fan, a, a Calgary Flames homer. What do you call it? A flaming homer. Okay, well, why don't you make us up a couple of flaming homers? In this video, we have to talk about the Edmonton Oilers. They are on a 16-game win streak. They've won 24 of their last 27 games, guys. Unbelievable performance out of the Oilers in the last... Uh, a couple of weeks um it's been crazy to watch the current nhl record for most wins in a row is 17 games that was done by the pittsburgh penguins way back in the 1990s um, edmonton currently has a chance to tie that record coming out of the all-star break so uh last night they played nashville they end up with another win and uh they've really truly turned their season around guys and like I said, I'm a, I'm a big Flames fan. If you guys don't know, if you are just joining the channel now, you may not have known this about me, but um, as a Flames fan, it enrages me. Oh no, God! No, God, please, no! To see the Edmonton Oilers doing this, this good. But um, at the same time, guys, uh, it's impossible to ignore at this point. You know, they've been playing so well as of late. Um, in the last 14 games in a row, they've allowed two or less goals so that's kind of been the main difference in uh, how they've been playing Skinner! is defense has actually risen you know uh, compared to how they were at the beginning of the season um, everyone knows that when they have a superstar like Connor McDavid playing for the the you know on the, on the offensive side of the puck and guys like Leon Dreisaitl um, as well that the offense usually has come pretty easy for this team they've had one of the better power plays the last few years and uh, have always been able to find the back of the net, but um, their goaltending and defense have been the, the part of the game that struggled. So um, they, they started the year with a disastrous uh, beginning. You know, the first 10 or so games um, were really bad for the Oilers. They, they were in like second last place in the entire league, but now they're back to being a top 10 league by points and by points percentage at this point in the season. So um, the story of the Oilers has been crazy, guys. I can't ignore it any longer. I had to make a video about it because of how ridiculous it has been. And, uh, you know, I hate to say it, but the Edmonton Oilers are looking like a Stanley Cup favorite at this point, guys. 16 games in a row is no joke. You know, it's, it's, it's something that you can't stop and, and pay attention to. But... Um, with that being said, um, we've seen some other teams go on some hefty win streaks um, before as well. And uh, it didn't turn out in their favor. For example, I think the most recent um, one I can think of was back in the year 2017, just a few years ago. Uh, Columbus Blue Jackets went on a 16-game win streak and um, they did not uh, go very far into the playoffs. I think that might have been the first time they even won a round. They won like one round in the playoffs. So... Um, it's going to be interesting to see what happens down the stretch for the Oilers. Um, you know, there's going to be a big break uh, coming up this week um, for all the NHL teams are going to be off um, as there's an all-star event happening in Toronto where all the top players from every team are going to be uh, playing in little tournaments and games and uh, skills competitions and then play will resume. And when play resumes, we'll, we'll see if Oilers can keep up the good work that they put in the last uh, month or so. So um, yeah, it's been really, really cool and really interesting to see. Um, the beginning of the season, uh, Edmonton started off with a record of three, nine and one under Jay Woodcroft. They fired him, uh, brought in a new head coach, um, a guy who's never even coached in the NHL before, uh, Chris Knobloch, and he currently sits with a 26 and six record, uh, which is an eight, 13 points percentage, which currently would be uh, the, the number one overall points percentage by a head coach. Now, obviously, it's a very, very small sample size. He's only coached 32 NHL games, but this has to be one of the most um, historic and crazy runs for any coach in the history of the NHL to come and uh, start their career. So, um, yeah, it's going to be a, a really uh, fun 
time watching this team for the rest of the season. And like I said, guys, as a Flames fan, um, I'm hoping and I'm praying for their downfall. You know, um, I really, really just hope that, uh, you know, if the, if the play of Edmonton continues, um, that at least they don't win the Stanley Cup because I really, really badly want to see the next Stanley Cup come home to my Calgary Flames here in Calgary. But at the end of the day, guys, Connor McDavid, Leon Dreisaitl, they work really, really hard. They're really, really good players. And uh, it would be a shame to see these guys um, waste their careers up in Edmonton playing as well as they have and never seeing much success. So um, let me know what you guys think uh, in the comments. Do you think Edmonton has what it takes to win the Stanley Cup this year? Do you think that this is just a very good string of victories in a row and come playoff time, we're going to see um, the true faces of the Edmonton Oilers? Or let me know if you think that uh, this is uh, this is for real, if these guys are the real deal. Oh, by the way, I forgot to mention as well, um, also uh, a little bit of news on the Oilers is they ended up signing Corey Perry um, recently. He played his first game with the Oilers uh, that night in Nashville, so or I should say against Nashville. So um, that's pretty interesting news because Corey Perry had made it to the Stanley Cup Finals. Uh, I think it was three years in a row with different teams. Hasn't won a Stanley Cup yet, but um, with any of those last couple of teams, but is now on the Edmonton Oilers. So that's interesting as well, guys. Um, we'll have to see how that plays out for the end of the year. And uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Like, subscribe, share, all that stuff. And have a great day.